Snake, take a look in your backpack. What the? My food's gone. I busted my ass to get those snakes, and now I won't get a chance to eat them. Major, what the hell is going on here? Don't ask me, ask Eva. Eva? Eva, about the contents of the backpack you got for me. Is there something missing? Yeah, all of my food. Well, how strange. You didn't. It wasn't me. Aww. All those snakes and crocodiles and suspicious looking mushrooms, I, I wouldn't eat that stuff even if you paid me. What about the instant noodles? Mm. Eva? I was hungry, okay? Give me a break. It's just a little packet of noodles. It wasn't just the noodles. All those animals I worked so hard to capture. That wasn't me. So who was it? It was Ocelot. Ocelot? He said he wanted to eat the same things you did. Why would he do that? You haven't figured it out? No. You are dense. Main wing hangar, huh? Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Yeah. The Shagahod's in here. The completed Phase II Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. We can't allow it to be mass-produced. You've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagahod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the Cold War into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. Uh. For now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. Yo! Like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. But, uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. Good, man. And be careful. Liquid fuel has a nasty habit of going off the slightest shock. So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecued. I'll keep that in mind. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. Alright. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. 
Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. We're counting on you, Snake. Snake? Eba. I finished planting the bomb on the rail bridge. If we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. It should at least buy us some time. I've also set up the escape route. How are things going on your end? I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the bridge.
Got you this time. <laughs> Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Snake! Why do you come back? This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The Philosopher's Legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the Legacy. You might say that this film itself is the Philosopher's Legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Isn't that right? What was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell! You dirty whore! I've had enough! Kisses from you. I should have known. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the Philosopher's Legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. During the last Great War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations 
and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shagohod and the Cobra unit. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. <laughs> Leave everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even! Ah. 
ah, ah, ah. No more judo and no more field strips. Enough of this! He's mine! You will stand right there and watch, got it? Please, Colonel, let me- SILENCE! Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? I said, shoot him! Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean, you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! I am your commanding officer. My authority!
fight like a man, Vulcan. Vulcan? Ocelot! Find those bombs! Move it! Huh. some more snake
why? I'll tell you later. Right now we've got to get to the lake and escape. We can't leave yet. I've still got one last job to do. The boss is already at the lake. Huh? She's at the lake. She's waiting for you there. Waiting for me? I was hoping I wouldn't have to tell you. I don't want you to fight her. But I... I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I envy you. Really, I do. But I guess I just can't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. I've never seen someone with such clear eyes. There. I said it. Ready to go? Yeah.